are you? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Good. I'm very happy to have you here. We're big fans of The Crown here. And we kind of completed the trifecta because we had Matt Smith uh, here, who was uh, Prince Philip. We had uh, uh, Vanessa Kirby, who was Margaret. And now we have you. So we're very, very happy to complete the set. The whole set. The whole set. The whole set of royals. And now you are not in the next season of The Crown because you're being replaced by Olivia Coleman, uh, who's another fantastic actress. Did you take anything when you left? It seemed like that's a set where a lot of good stuff to steal. Yeah, there'd be loads of good stuff to steal, but they keep it under they keep it under lock and key. And yeah. they, they need it all as well, so they'd know who'd taken it. It would right. be pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. If, when one cast leaves and another one comes yeah. in, they have a lot of I suspects. I deny everything. <laughs> yeah. I have nothing. Do you miss it? Do you miss playing someone of that stature? It must have been nice to be called queen all the time. Uh, no one ever called me queen. Yeah, I guess that's a good point, as I'm thinking what, about it. Hello, queen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, Queen, we got trouble again. <laughs> nice to see you today, Queen. That'd be great if yeah, they did. Yeah, um, they should have done that. Yeah, no, they never did. They never called me Queen. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't miss the, the stature of the pop. I miss the people. Yeah, I imagine it's very hard to leave a show like that. I will say, uh, you know, any uh, actor would have a fear of, oh, I hope I don't get typecast uh, in roles like this. You certainly shook that off right away by going from uh, the Queen to uh, Lizbeth uh, Salander in this film. Yeah. yeah. Or it makes me look like I've got psychological problems. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I hadn't even thought of that. That's right. So it might be that as well. Yeah, that's right. yeah. <laughs> but uh, definitely uh, far more leather in uh, Girl With... Yeah. Far more leather, and I'm thinking more tattoos uh, than The Crown. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I yeah, we don't know. You never know, know what goes on the, from the neck down with the queen. That's right. She could be hiding an awful lot That's of... That's right. Well, oh, man, that would be a fun thing to find out. Wouldn't it? Yeah. How, yeah, how could we find that out? I don't know. <laughs> I guess, I guess the reality is if you haven't found it out, none of us yeah, are gonna find exactly, it out. Because yeah. you probably did more research than I did, and if you never came across <laughs> the tattoo so. part, yeah. <laughs> but I would think the queen, if the queen had a bunch of tattoos, and again, this is just me blue skying and dreaming. Okay, let's do this. I wish it was some kind of map. <laughs> Over her whole body? Or yeah, just... like just every part of her that you can't see in clothes, there's like a, some sort of map that's very key. Like to a treasure the map? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's a queen, and so, like, they, uh, you know, they put it on her. I don't know, when's it okay to... What? <laughs> well, no, it says she's a royal, so it might not have been up to her. They might have been like, let's get this map on this baby pronto. <laughs> Again, I don't know I, if this know, is true or not, that's, but... I'd much prefer if she had, like, Prince Philip on one arm. Yeah, that would be... A corgi on the other. A corgi, yeah. Her handbag just... Yeah, you know. but, like, so not just a corgi, like, corgi uh, for life. All the corgi she's life. had. She'd have a sleeve. Oh, yeah. All the corgi she'd have. Oh, right, because they don't... Uh, I mean, this is a spoiler, but all those corgis haven't lived as long as she has. She's gone no, through a bunch no, of... No, she's gone through loads. She's, she's gone through loads, loads of, yeah, of corgis. She's a really high corgi turnover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they say, you know, when you're a corgi and, you know, you're at the... Qu they go, oh, my God, this is the life of the corgi. And they go, yeah, we don't last that long. Yeah. Uh, was it fun to, uh, Elizabeth, obviously this is a continuation of, uh, of this story. Mm -hmm. of, of, was that a, were these books, books you were familiar with? Yeah, well, I'd read, I hadn't read the fourth book. I hadn't read, um, Girl in a Spider's Web, but I'd read, I'd read the, 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 the Millennium series when they first came out, yeah. And, uh, more, far more fighting than The Crown. A lot yep. more stunts. Yeah. Uh, it was my only criticism of you and The Crown. There were almost no stunts and I fights. Know. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do any. You didn't do any stunts. Did you do stunts in this one? Yes. And did you enjoy it? Or was it something you thought was important? Did you think it would be thrilling? Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say it was thrilling. I mean, you sort of try and approach it as professional, not going, yeah, I'm so bloodthirsty and can't wait to fake punch people in the face. <laughs> yeah. um, but there is an element of, of the, that's quite fun. Yeah, I would only imagine. Plus, you're working with people who are excellent at not hurting you. Yes. Yeah. And I would say, like, if you're a stunt person whose job is to fight you in that film, they really have a, a hands-off policy problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They know what they're doing. Yeah, but, whereas you're probably yeah. just throwing roundhouses and hitting oh, uh, them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, Left you know, and right. uppercuts and <laughs> all sorts. Uh, yeah. This was filmed in uh, Stockholm and Berlin mm -hmm. in the winter. Those are wonderful cities. I've never been there in the winter. They seem very cold and gray. Yes. Yeah. I mean, cold more than grey. They have yeah. some beautiful crisp mornings. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, like sub zero, like freezing, freezing cold. Um, and, yeah, you know, there are a lot of uh, scenes. I mean, again, a lot of leather, a lot of helmets, a lot of motorcycles. I would imagine, I mean, you're not riding the motorcycles, but they didn't, you were not in a lot of parkas in this film. You must have been no. uh, cold a lot. 
I was cold a lot. That I definitely vary in size. I tried to put as many thermal layers underneath as humanly possible. So sometimes I'm a bit like a sausage in <laughs> my, some of my, my leather outfits. Like my, I'm bursting at the seams. <laughs> there are um, scenes where you can tell you can't really move I your can't, arm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, we got to go over here. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, a very, how would you even describe uh, the hairstyle of, uh, of, the, of the character? Um, it was mainly a bowl cut on top. Uh -huh. And then underneath it was shaved. It was a bit of a fringe. I like to mix it up. Sometimes it's a mohawk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there we kind of looked at like similar haircuts that had that sort of mohawky, faux hockey feel. Very There's, similar uh, to yep, Rihanna. Very. Uh, you know, there we got. Uh, yeah, and Tilda. Uh, and then um, this is pink with a little. That's like a pointy. Uh, that's quite. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's it's quite more on the sides. That. Yeah, and then um, there's that. That's I guess. the one. Yeah, that's that's the one. I that's feel like it was identical. maybe. And then people do always say, "Oh my God, you would make a great Lizbeth Salander to me." Oh, I, yeah. I mean, I'm surprised. I was. That's my. I was first happy thing. for you that yeah, you got it. Hey. I was happy for you. That's really kind because I first <laughs> said, "Are you sure you don't want to do it?" <laughs> that's so kind. I had a feeling you were a nice person, so thank you for saying that. <laughs>